Hey guys, Matt Snyder at Lime Painting, introducing a client who just got limed. This is Stan at Hyde Park, and he's going to tell you his story of how he heard of Lime Painting. Hey Matt, um, I, I, I saw Lime because they were here in the neighborhood painting a house, and I walked by, looked at the house, thought it was uh, going very nicely, and I asked the, uh, one of the gentlemen if they could have somebody contact me and next thing I know you contacted me you Matt and um, so we sat we talked about the house we walked around the whole exterior uh, you looked at it you told me what the problems were going to be you told me what could be done what couldn't be done uh, how best to approach it and I said well that sounds good send me an estimate uh, and you did uh, and I liked what I saw and so that was the beginning of our relationship uh, which continued throughout the entire process. I was never once out of touch with you, Matt, which made this really uh, quite a good process because I always knew awesome. if I had a question or I wanted some explanation, I could text you and within a matter of minutes I'd have the answer. If you didn't have the answer, you told me and you said you'd get back to me and you did. So uh, nice. I think that's what made this whole process work so smoothly. Um, now, the house that you were doing, before I signed the uh, estimate, accepted the estimate from you, I went back to the house, my neighbor's house, that Lime had painted, and the neighbor walked me around the entire job, and the more I saw, the more I knew that Lime uh, was the company for me. So that's how I met Lime, and that's how I decided to use Lime. Uh, I, I could see from the other houses that were painted here um, that the, the work was up to my standards, very high quality work in my opinion. Um, and the estimate, well, I thought was very reasonable given the extent of the work that was required. Uh, we have stucco uh, that, that, that uh, required some attention, had to be repaired. Uh, there's a lot of wood trim, there's arches, it makes uh, the masking a little bit more difficult, but it was all done professionally, promptly, and neatly. Uh, so the, the painting was one thing here, and uh, th that I thought was done um, very well, but, but I don't think it was the most critical thing that was done here. There are some other elements that were done that required uh, more work, more effort, more expertise, and that's the thing that uh, has really impressed me the most about uh, the crew that was out here from Lime. And I can show you one thing in specific uh, that made me say that uh, regarding the stucco. Sure. So these, these walls that you see um, are stucco on the exterior, but underneath they are cinder block as the structure. And as is often the case with cinder block, um, when the stucco fails or wasn't done right in the first place, and I don't know what the answer is, but you start to see the outlines of the cinder blocks, mm -hmm. uh, almost like uh, cracks, and it looks like a zigzag pattern. And you basically see uh, the, the, the outline of cinder blocks underneath, and it looks terrible. Mm -hmm. it, it is really uh, awful, and I hated it. So when I talked to Matt about it, he said, you know, our guys can fix all of that for you. And I was skeptical because they're painters. I didn't realize they had these other skills. But uh, we agreed to do it. And um, Juan, who actually did the work, is an artiste. And um, I don't know if you can see it in this video, but uh, Juan basically redid all of these walls, both sides, and retextured the stucco, uh, including the white tops. Beautiful. And if you were to take a close look at the stucco on these walls and the stucco on the body of the house, if I didn't tell you that they were done at different times, I don't think that you could tell that um, the stucco was not done all at once. And the thing with stucco uh, is that it, it's put on different consistencies, different trowels, and it's very difficult, I'm told, and in my experience, to match stucco. Uh, but Juan did it beautifully. Awesome. And, and so now I've got these walls that look like they're supposed to look, and I don't feel embarrassed about uh, the, this front walkway. Um, uh, and so I, 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 was, uh, I was very pleased with, the, with that work that, that Lime did for me. That's awesome. And um, 
Last question is, would you feel comfortable recommending lime painting and using us again in the future? Um, I, I, would, uh, I would recommend lime to other people. Uh, uh, if they can produce the same type of work and the same quality of work over and over and over again, and I have no reason to believe that they can't, uh, the crew that was out here was just wonderful. Uh, Victor headed up the crew. Uh, the, the man is a machine. He works very hard, uh, very knowledgeable about what he's doing, and um, no matter how picky I got, he was always happy to satisfy me. He never argued with yes. me. He never complained about it. His answer was, okay. So that's what the, the type of customer service that I've come to expect. Uh, and, and Lime delivers it, particularly this crew. Victor, Ernesto, who was the, the project manager, everybody made sure that the job got done to my satisfaction. And for that reason alone, I would recommend them uh, to other people. And as far as me using them again, uh, I can't imagine a scenario in which I would use anybody other than Lime uh, next time this house needs to be painted. That's great. Thank you so much for sharing this, Stan. And on the count of three, it's a tradition. I'm going to have you yell, get limed. All right. One, two, three. Get limed. Woohoo!